I'm gonna do an unboxing. I just opened this, had audio issues, so if you're watching this later on, um, apologies. Uh, trying to do this, I try to do this as, uh, as quickly as possible and in my rush, had some issues. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me now. Cool, uh, so this is the Xbox Series X. Uh, packaging on this, by the way, uh, shout out to Robert for uh, hooking me up. Um, uh, shout out to Robert for hooking me up on this. Mine is back ordered until uh, December. Last I heard, they're looking, they're, they're, they said it would be here maybe around Black Friday. Uh, now they think that it's uh, mid-December. Uh, I pre-ordered mine through, uh, through Amazon, who oversold. Uh, they're not the only person to do this, so I'm not specifically uh, uh, dissing them, but I am dissing them because uh, I pre-ordered mine in September, and I'm one of thousands who uh, who are not going to get it until uh, December. But Robert, uh, Robert had my back, hooked me up, uh, as he is uh, helping a lot of people who are having trouble getting a hold of these. Uh, so hooked it up when uh, when I would be without for a while. First world problems, I know. Uh, I wanted to have this for the channel. I wanted to have this for myself. But I also wanted to have this so I could uh, talk about the console uh, with you guys. I want to do an unboxing of it. I'll be doing a lot of videos later on talking about the technology, talking about how this compares to the uh, Xbox One X, which is right next to me. I said the name right. I said the name right. Um, Xbox One X is right over here. I'm going to do a size comparison in, in a minute. Uh, but uh, I'm talking about the technology of these, talk about this versus the PlayStation 5. There it is because I got that in the other room. That's the box of it, at least. Uh, but I want to talk about the technology and all that uh, in future videos. So uh, if you if this is your first time like on, on Facebook, you know, like us on Facebook. We're on uh, YouTube as well. We do a, uh, a podcast every single week. We live on Facebook, and, uh, and uh, we ha have the show on YouTube as well and have a lot of stuff on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, and I'll post on Facebook as well. I'll be doing videos specifically on... Uh, on um, like I said, uh, things that, that set this apart, things that make this different uh, about this console generation, this console versus the PS5, uh, this console versus the previous generation, blah, blah, blah. So let's talk about the unboxing. Um, I, I just opened this and had audio issues, so this is not my first time unboxing it, but I do love, love the box. Uh, someone somewhere got a little, uh, got a little crazy uh, with like a pallet jack or something here um, and totally put a divot in here. Um, I don't. It, l looking at it, it looks like blunt force uh, trauma. But thankfully, uh, Xbox had our back when it comes to this. Microsoft had our back. So um, around the uh, uh, bottom, let me do this real quick so I can see a little better. Uh, yeah. So the top shows the console. There we go. Top shows the console. The back shows the Master Chief, like I mentioned. This is stylish. I like it. We got the uh, SSD, so one terabyte SSD, by, uh, which if I'm not mistaken, hold on, uh, I think we get 800 and some change uh, gig out of this. Uh, also, your if you get the one terabyte SSD um, expandable storage, which is basically a memory card, if you get the one terabyte expandable storage, it is 920 gig because eight, 80 gig of it is like file format structure or some crap. So just making sure you know, it's not actually gonna be a terabyte. Also, this is not gonna give you a terabyte for your games because you got the OS and everything else. Uh, but uh, we also have the velocity uh, symbol here because that's the new velocity architecture that this uses. And they are 4K, 120 FPS. So if your TV can handle it, this box can handle it too. Um, on the side, real quick, wanted to say, it says the 4K, 120. Uh, right there, 8K HDR. If the game can do 8K, maybe, maybe the Xbox can try to do it, but it's not going to do it at 120. The, the hardware can't do it. Uh, mentions velocity here, the one terabyte solid state that I mentioned. VRR, variable refresh rate. I want to talk about this very briefly. Uh, VRR, variable refresh rate, uh, is, is fantastic and stellar to get the best performance possible uh, from, from the game to the screen. If your TV can handle VR, the variable refresh rate, that's fantastic. Uh, your console can handle it. Uh, you need to have HDMI 2.1. Your TV has to support HDMI 2.1 and you have to be using an HDMI cable that supports it as well. They did package one in here. So if your TV can do it, mine can't. Uh, but if your TV can do it, this, this uh, Xbox can do it as well. Um, 
love it, loving this. So here we go, unboxing. Like I said, I'd just popped this open. But here we go, open it up. And this is so purpose built. Um, this is this is closed cell foam. This is like this is that's what I was saying. Microsoft helped us out because the outer box may have gotten punctured, uh, but but we're good. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are. We'll test it out later. Uh, closed cell foam. This stuff is uh, not only uh, is it uh, is it dense. It can take more of a beating. It's also recyclable. So if you feel like recycling it, you can. I'm not going to give you a hard time if you didn't recycle it though. Um, uh, here we have. The box, we have the new Xbox. Um, looks like this is the bottom. It's got little nubbins there. I'm pretty sure that's the bottom that's on top and I did not do that. That's how it came. Um, but this is the Xbox. It came with, and I comedically, it, just, it ruined it because I didn't have the audio on. It came with instructions and a quick setup guide and I said, I don't need them. But now I have to redo the joke and the joke's just not funny when you do it again. Uh, so in the side box, the back box, removable like I need to I don't I don't know it's nice uh, it's pretty standard power connector by the way this is the uh, little uh, little figure eight people call it the figure eight people call it the uh, I don't know what the uh, technical term is for it because I I don't know if I remember it's Volex but I think there's a term people refer to this as the uh, as a figure eight or an infinity uh, it's the same power for the uh, PlayStation 3 Slim. I think the PS4 does this, and the Xbox One X is the same power cord. I'll probably switch out the power cord. I won't use the old power cord. I'll still switch it just to have the new hotness. Um, this is, does not say it on there, but this is a high-speed, ultra-high-speed, I apologize. It does say it. Ultra high speed HDMI. I mentioned HDMI 2.1. You need to have a cable that can do, you need to have a console that can do it. You need to have a cable that uh, that can actually transfer data this fast uh, to do 4K 120. You need to have a cable like this to do 4K 120. If you have a regular um, uh, HDMI cable that came with your TV, may or may not be able to do it. If it's a standard HDMI cable, no. High speed, no. Ultra high speed, yes. Now. Your TV may not be able to do 4K 120. Mine can do 4K 60. I thought it was 120, it's 4K 60. So either way, I'm gonna use that cable, make sure I get the best, the best image that I can possibly get. Here we have, this is the new Xbox controller. And came with batteries, right? Comes with batteries. Xbox, come on. Um, USB-C. Robert uh, mentioned this earlier. Shout out to Robert again uh, in the comments for you know, not only hooking me up, but always being here for us and, and, and hanging out with us. Uh, USB-C, if you want to, when you want to plug this into uh, to the Xbox to be wired, uh, you can pair it with this, obviously. But if you want to, if you want to play it wired, your batteries go out, that's USB-C. I cannot tell you how happy the wife is about this because USB-C on this, USB-C on the on the PlayStation 5, USB-C on our phones. Uh, we got um, uh, we got Chrome uh, Chromebook. Sorry, we have Chromebooks as well. So pretty much everything now is USB-C in the living room, especially everything is USB-C, which means uh, if something needs to be powered, we can only we can have just a handful of the same cable as long as they're the the right. <laughs> the, they can uh, they can uh, they're rated with the right uh, power. Um, we can have uh, a handful of USB C cables in the living room as opposed to a, a basket of USB A sorry USB micro USB mini USB C. So very happy about this. The texture on the back um, it's not bad when you when you when you hold it. It feels a little weird when I, when I slip my hands through it. But but when you're gripping, which is really what it's for, when you're gripping, it's not bad. Um, I'm a, it's a little weird to get used to. The this is very similar to the previous um, Xbox controller. Uh, the D-pad uh, is different, and I forgot which uh, one they ca they uh, came off of. This D-pad's different. Uh, it has a share button. Uh, triggers feel fine. I just got done with the PlayStation Five haptic controller, so the the, the DualSense haptic triggers. Um, I'm just spoiled by those. So this is not bad. This is not bad. D-pads, D-pads good. Um, I think I'm spoiled by the DualSense at this point, though. 
Um, but I'll, I'll give more of a review on that later when I play some games on it. Uh, what else do we have? We got uh, an instructional booklet. And I joke, I mean, I was throwing the stuff like behind my back. I'm joking. I'm, I keep a lot of this stuff. Uh, and this re pulls out to reveal nothing. Okay. Those are the batteries that fell earlier. Um, all right. So now we have the big boy. It's dense. It is dense. Now we're done with this. That's the, man, look at the, look at the gash on that, by the way. Right through, right through the bottom, right through it. So, but like I said, Microsoft, Microsoft had our backs and had that closed cell phone. So it's good stuff. Um, so here it is. And it says power, power your dreams, little, Slip off there um, with the zoom in on the. They really like the top grill on this. They really like that that green coming out. So here we go. Open this bad boy up. Boom! And there it is. Xbox Series X. Uh, vertical, bring it back just a little bit. There you go. The tower. Um, so the wife saw this, and uh, yeah, her she she does not like the look of it. She doesn't look like the look of this one. She doesn't like the look of the PlayStation for different reasons, and she just like was yelling like hat like why? No, she's like nobody asked for this. Um, the fridge, as as people are joking. Um, so the front on here, I'm sure you guys have already seen this. So you got the disc. This is the Series X, so it does have a disc drive. Whether you're going to use it or not, this is this is the model you want to get if you actually wanted to play that 4K, uh, that 4K life, that 4K 120 HDR. Um, like I said, I'm playing 4K 60 for now, but we'll get there. Uh, still HDR. It's a good TV. Surround sound. I'm happy. I just want, I want some more frames, but I'll, I'll be okay for now. Um, so we've got uh, a USB-A on the back, sorry, on the front. Uh, all USB-A, no USB-C. Uh, we'll get there one day. We'll get there, I promise. Uh, the top, this is the, uh, this is the air, uh, the air vent, uh, as, uh, as we've uh, been talking about, sorry, the exhaust, I should say. Uh, so the, uh, the vents and the back, this is what pulls in cool air and it pushes it out to the top. Hot air rises, so that's, that's actually a, a you know, it's naturally working through that. This uh, this fan is pulling uh, air uh, through the top. Um, some people are putting ping pong balls uh, on the top. I'm letting it kind of uh, hover. I'll probably do that too. Um, but like I said, it's dense on the back here. On the back here, as uh, as I go through, so two HDMI ports, Ethernet port. If you want to cable this up, um, if you have a decent internet connection, and you don't don't have too much. Uh, in between, uh, then uh, then this is actually a pretty darn good way to to, to have uh, you'll have less interference. The speed will be a little bit better on there. Uh, James in the comments saying Microsoft has been assimilated by the Borg. It's almost a cube, man. It is almost a Borg cube at this point. Um, <laughs> Ethernet port. Uh, the, so I'll talk about this in my future videos where I talk about the technology and everything. Microsoft did not go with Wi-Fi 6 uh, with the Xbox Series X. So the Wi-Fi in this, your speed, uh, your speed is going to be a little slower with this. Gaming-wise, it's not going to matter as much, arguably. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 is obviously better. You're going to notice it with the download speeds on the PlayStation versus Xbox. You can notice it on the transfer speeds. The console itself can do, uh, has a... Uh, this being uh, what is it? It's not Wi-Fi five. I can't remember the the. I'll I'll, I'll look it up and uh, be doing a video talking about all these things. But uh, the speed on this, if you have a decent Wi-Fi, if you have decent Wi-Fi, it's not bad. Uh, Ethernet's really good too. Um, if if I can wire everything, I'm gonna wire everything. But that doesn't it doesn't work out in this house. My house is wired with uh, Ethernet drops, and the Ethernet drops are not rated for high speed because <laughs> it was wired. In 2000 so yeah I, I loved it when I moved in I was like man this is so cool and it's great for 
it's great for things that don't need high speed internet, but I need the high speed internet. Anyways, power here, HDMI here. Notice no HDMI out. Sorry, HDMI in. There's an HDMI out, no HDMI in. The uh, Xbox One X over there has an HDMI in and an HDMI out when they were uh, trying to use it almost as a, as a as the media uh, uh, to be an intermediary between your, your cable box and uh, and not many people used it that way. Here's the this is the expandable storage slot for uh, for the NVMe proprietary SSD that you can put on there, um, which I may end up getting. Uh, I'll be honest, I may end up getting that. I'll probably end up next year upgrading this and upgrading the storage on the PlayStation 5 because these, they had to make a, a sacrifice when it came to uh, having uh, having a solid state hard drive and a solid state hard drive that is this fast, it's more expensive and they could have put in a two terabyte uh, and it would have cost more. The console already costs $500, $499 US. Um, I think they looked at that and said, I, I, I think they looked at it and said, no one's going to pay 650 or whatever it would be, uh, for the console, uh, 599 would have been the death knell as it was for, or almost was for the PlayStation three. When the PlayStation three launched the, the 599, um, uh, price tag, uh, was, was really hard for people to stomach. So here we have placed, this is sorry, the, uh, Xbox series X. And as promised, Xbox One X. I'm bring them side by side here. Move my microphone real quick. And here we go. So the this is if you put it into a, a horizontal uh, stance, which is how I'm going to have mine. Um, I, I don't mind. I actually like the look of it being a tower um, because of the entertainment center, because of our setup. Uh, the um, having this as a, a vertically as a tower, it would block part of our TV, um, or we could put it like off to the side, and then we'd have to have like a lar like a longer or larger entertainment center. So this is tall enough, as you can see here. That's why I wanted to kind of do a size difference here. Um, if you don't have, if you don't have a uh, <laughs> an Xbox to compare. There's a, there's a can for you. Um, so you can see the difference in size here. Um, so the difference in size here, we got about uh, almost two inches or so uh, taller than a, uh, than a Coke can. Um, and this is a little bit under half, we'll call it. So considerably fatter. Um, now, I think most people are actually gonna, gonna have it in their, um, in their entertainment centers like this. If you do stand it vertically, as they both can stand vertically, then here's your size difference vertically. Not much of a difference. Um, now, the architecture, what they, they were looking for with, with the Xbox Series X, they were trying to get this into a, they're trying to get more technology into a similar form factor as this. And in doing that, the, the, the actual hardware and the, the motherboard, uh, I guess this one technically has two. It's just technically like a sister board situation going on. Um, so when they decided to do that with the Xbox Series X, um, they realized that packing in the hardware um, in the traditional single motherboard situation or even a dual motherboard situation was causing problems uh, from a, uh, from a from an architectural standpoint to actually put puzzle piece this together like Legos. Um, so, uh, and I, I, I may end up opening this thing up. Uh, I'm not going to open it up today. Um, but I may end up opening this thing up just to, just to show up. You can see a breakdown videos where they, the teardown videos where they take it apart. And this has multiple boards instead of it being a, a long, uh, single motherboard or two, uh, motherboards. It is, I want to say three, uh, boards around here. Um, so instead of essentially... If if they had if they had tried to do it similar like this, they would have been in a situation more uh, like the PlayStation Five. So the two have very <laughs> the two have very interesting um, uh, architectural uh, differences and architectural sim similarities. Both were trying to say how do you pack all of this into a smaller small enough uh, box? No pun intended. Uh, in this case, they, Microsoft said 
Uh, let's let's expand out a little bit. Let's make it a little fatter, and take the take the motherboards and take them into pieces, uh, which is why it's the other piece to it uh, that I will uh, show is. So again, taking what was almost the same height, fattening it out here, uh, shrinking it in here, and making it, uh, you know, it's a square, which is, from an arc, like I said, from a design standpoint, it's, it's actually very efficient in, 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 uh, in cooling. And they, can, they use a smaller heat sink here than the PlayStation because the PlayStation's uh, longer, it's wider in regards to the PlayStation 5. So the heat sink is huge. That's why the PlayStation, is, is, is a giant, massive thing because the heat sink is, I think, a third of the, the height is the heat sink. So uh, very different designs, like I said. Um, I'll do for, and I'll do further videos where I talk about the different architectures and different technologies uh, because PlayStation and Xbox decided to take slightly different approaches to almost the same thing, um, but, but still different. They're both... Uh, they're both SSD. They both have great uh, 4K visuals. This is more powerful. Objectively, this is the more powerful of the consoles. But will the games take advantage of this technology better than PlayStation? Uh, PlayStation also has a difference. As I mentioned, uh, this controller, uh, it's not bad. But I've been playing with the new DualSense from uh, the new PlayStation DualSense. And there's some amazing things that that does. Also, there's a user experience element as well. So will the hardware, will the superior hardware, will work, will the superior hardware win out this generation? Or will this end up being like PlayStation 3, where PlayStation 3 was considerably better hardware, but the better games were on Xbox for the most part. The games ran better on Xbox. Let me rephrase that. The games ran better on Xbox if there are multi-platforms. And uh, between that and the price tag, it was really hard for, for PlayStation and the cell technology. So we're not in the same, same situation. However, I'm still curious if, are we gonna see this really show that big of a difference visually than the PlayStation 5? Or will they both be great consoles uh, that we can, we can argue about differences, we can argue about the games that we like, but uh, but side by side, same games, which Digital, Digital Foundry has done uh, some tests on this as well. They're doing very similarly, and in some cases, the PlayStation is doing a little better in some of the some of the cases. Um, so it, again, begs the question: optimization heart, uh, of it and everything. Uh, we'll probably know in a few years which one ends up doing better as they continue to update and continue to make games uh, optimize uh, for these. So. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm gonna do further videos where I talk, like I said, about technology. Um, I'll talk about everything on the te uh, from a technology standpoint, about this console generation versus that console generation, PlayStation 5 versus Xbox Series X. And they're gonna be very focused videos, so it'll be very, very uh, specific uh, um, uh, videos. Uh, Owen, float, talk about floating a ping pong ball. I didn't have one, I've been looking for one. Um, I am definitely going to be floating a ping pong ball uh, on this thing. The fan is really quiet uh, from what I've heard. I haven't turned this one on, obviously. Uh, but if the fan is quiet enough, I will do videos with this thing beside me floating a ping pong ball while I while I talk. If this thing's, if it's quiet enough and it, and it will do it uh, consistently enough, I will do videos with this like right beside me or behind me while I'm talking about the, the, the Xbox with a ping pong ball floating on it. Uh, it's just hilarious. So I will do that later. But yeah, let me know uh, what you think about the uh, Xbox Series X. What do you think about the design? Do you think it's too chunky? It's, it, like I said, it's dense. They definitely tried to fit this all this technology all into one small-ish package. But let me know, what do you think? Do you think it's too fat? Do you like it as a tower? Do you prefer it horizontal? Um, do you do you prefer your consoles to be hidden and out of the way? Or do you like them to, to you know, be a you know, conversation starter or something. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of the Xbox. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of The Land Cave. If you're not subscribed already, please do so right down. I think it's around there. Uh, please uh, subscribe. Watch us on, on Facebook every uh, Thursday live. Uh, we love uh, to see people in the comments uh, chatting with us. You guys are just as enthusiastic about gaming as we are. Be part of the culture. Be part of the conversation. And we'll see you next time.